Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Aji. I am Android developer from Indonesia. On this video, I will explain about the library I have created, augmented reality location based library. You can access this library on my repository. This is my repository URL. Augmented reality is become very popular on 2016 uh, when Pokemon Go is launched. I think you must know about Pokemon Go apps. I named this library is uh, Aufar. This library is developed by Kotlin language. This library is inspired from this project you can access on my documentation on my repository thank you to mr dot ng you have a create a great project but this project is not under maintenance again since four years ago so i want to continue this project or i want to continue develop a new uh, about this feature in other way You can access my documentation. You can see how to install this library and how to use uh, this library. I have uh, write uh, some documentation that I think it's enough to you to implement this library. So uh, let's to create apps project, Android project with this library. First, you can open your Android Studio and then create new project you can choose empty fuse activity and then next name it uh, augmented reality demo and then you choose kotlin language and finish please wait until the configuration of gradle is finished and then uh, your project is ready to develop okay my project is ready the gradle configuration is finished so first back to my repository you can see the documentation how to install this first you must uh, add this code on setting gradle settings.gradle you can click on gradle script and then choose settings gradle you can add that script on here copy and paste in here and then the second is copy this script and then place on build.gradle in module level in this build.gradle on module level uh, you can add that script on here like this but don't forget to replace the tag uh, word uh, tag with the last version that i have released uh, right now uh, we have version 1.0.1 you can replace take with 1.0.1 and then click sing now wait until the configuration or uh, under studio will download that library uh, it is finished so you can now you can to implement that library on your project let's see on the default uh, code there is a main activity that extend the app compat activity now uh, back to my documentation how to use the this library on my example just uh, on your main activity uh, your activity 
extend the AR activity that I have created. And then you can implement on created and uh, override on a ER point selected. So just start that. Okay. Uh, on main activity that uh, have created by default on Android Studio, we can delete all. And then main activity is extend to ER ER activity. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. Why ER activity not so in here? I'm sorry, I have a mistake. Go back on settings.gradle. That's the before I put uh, this code on here, but it's a uh, mistake. You must put uh, the script on here on dependency resolution management on my documentation I have write like this but uh, I do a mistake so uh, you can put uh, the script on here and then sing now then the Android studio will download your uh, this library so you can use on main activity Go back to main activity and then you must extend the ER activity. Yes, <clears throat> the ER activity is called, can call from your main, main activity. ER activity that class I have created on this libra library. So you can, uh, you can use as extends on your activity then you can create you can implement on create on create uh, like this and then you can imp, uh, go back to my documentation you can offer it on create and you, and you can offer it on er point selected on er Point selected, yes. Okay, and then uh, there are uh, one li library that uh, I'm forget to write on my documentation. So you can, uh, I will uh, read the, uh, I will update the documentation. The library that you have installed is. Easy permission, yes, like this. I will update my documentation. You can open the build cradle and then install the devrel easy permission. So click sync now, and then everything is will be okay. When I have created this library. I use a uh, easy permission to handle the permission location permission and camera uh, camera permission on my library so you must implement this but on the documentation I forget to write a step to install or or to implementation implement the library I will update my documentation so everything is done. So uh, back to the documentation. On on create method, you can set the initial of your location. We name it uh, the object is place. The place is can the parameter of place is first is ID. And then name of object, and then latitude, longitude, and description. So we try to add the location. We have opened the Google Maps and set a random location. You can choose 
this uh, right click and copy this copy this location to inis to initial the location we can we call the get er location function like this file uh, we name it places get er location get er location is the static uh, variable that i have write on er activity and then place we add object we name it place and then what the place parameter the place parameter is id name latitude longitude x y altitude description distance and photo url but the required of the parameter from place is just id name latitude longitude the other is uh, optional so the minimal of the parameter that you have write is just id name latitude and longitude so uh, id we can uh, one and then uh, the second parameter is name we call taman mini indonesia indah taman mini indonesia indah we choose uh, we paste the latitude longitude of the taman mini indonesia indah and then we add description uh, uh, salah lokasi salah satu lokasi wisata di jakarta this is a uh, bahasa salah satu lokasi wisata di sana this is description about this place so i just at one place uh, in this method you can add some place uh, for example if you have a api to the location or you have a uh, endpoint uh, some of location you can uh, initialize the object in here then we have at the place to the er so on on this method the callback from the library we can access we can access the callback from the library when the object is click when the object is click when the user is click this uh, object so we can uh, take the parameter or take the object and the process to functional of your application in here uh, if for example we 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 want to show the toss like a uh, place name is click mentos sort and so like this so try to build my apps Yes, so we'll we run on a real device. You can connect your laptop to the real device, so you can get a better uh, better experience. Uh, I will mirroring the my device from my laptop. Okay. This is augmented reality demo apps that uh, we have created. So the application is so uh, ask to permission. First is to picture and record video permission. We can choose uh, the first option. And then the second is permission to get the location. And then you can choose the first uh, option and then you you can show the object you can see the object taman mini indonesia indah 
object that we 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 create in here we ha we have created in here let's see again and when i click the object so the toast is so in this method you can uh, make a function or uh, make new activity to show the detail of the object uh, for example and when user click in this label or in this object we can uh, uh, move to another activity to show the detail of the object or the place and we can show the photos and then review uh, ab uh, or uh, ab data about uh, this place. So to use this library is very simple. Just implement the activity and then add the place on on create a method and then you can access the callback from on er point selected function just like this so if you want to uh, use this library just uh, visit my repository and then read the, read the documentation you and then you can use this library on simple way if you want to to be a contrib conti contributor just pull request and i will review your code and we can uh, collaborate and work together for to the de developing this library this uh, the tutorial to install uh, augmented reality location based library uh, if you have a uh, advice or idea about this library you can uh, write on isus so in this video uh, i hope uh, you can enjoy and want to use my library don't forget to like and subscribe my video so uh, i hope this video is can help you to develop and uh, augmented reality location based on Android uh, apps. Thanks for watching.